Have you seen all these memes about devs earning six figures in the US but not even knowing how to code because they just Google everything? But you know, they actually knew what they were Googling because you need to have like some understanding in order to choose the right words. You need to know the, all the theory to actually Google the right words. And it just makes sense that they don't know everything and they have to keep Googling because there's like a lot of stuff. But now they don't even need to Google it because they can just be using codecs, which is like DALI, but for coding, literally the same. Like as for DALI, you are going to be writing this text prompt, you're going to click generate and it's going to return this amazing image. The same happens with codec. You just need to type whatever thing you want it to be coded click generate and it generates that and you can make interactive stuff and it's just amazing. So in this video we're going to be covering this and how I think that devs are not going to be replaced by AI anytime soon or maybe yes. Because well hi if you're new to the channel welcome I'm Martina I'm a designer and creative technologist who loves making art with code but is very bad at making art with code. I've always wanted to master coding but there's like something here that it doesn't match you know like I start the theory and I'm like, okay, my logic tells me that if I do this, then this will happen. Error on line 10, error on line 21, error on line 23. And I'm like, okay, let's Google this. Let's try to find the solution. I'm not good at Googling for some reason. And <laughs> that was for me very frustrating because I really like it. I really like coding. I like the idea of coding. For some reason, it's something that I'm not good at. Oh no. My brain, it's broken. And since I've been using DALI for a month now, I was like, well, maybe I should go and try GPT-3, which is like the origins of DALI, you know, like where it all started. This is the one that I can ask it to write a novel and it will just write it for me, you know? And I'm like, that's so exciting. Let's just test this. And when I saw that there was a beta for coding that would translate natural language into coding, I was like, this cannot be real. This is like my dreams coming through and I cannot believe it. So of course I joined the waitlist and I got accepted in one day and I was like, okay, let's begin. <laughs> so I stayed up until three again last night because I couldn't just stop asking it things. I was like, I just felt like a child. I, I was like asking it to do everything from like simple things to more complex stuff and, and just trying to, to build things because the good about it is that it's not like in DALI that you ask something and it creates a prompt and then you just start again. No, 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 here you ask it something and it's just going to be overlapping. So you could actually build an application with this. I mean, it's not like it just appeared. GPT-3 was released in 2020, so it's like two years old now, but I was ignoring that it existed, you know? If I heard about it, I didn't care, actually. I was scared of AI, I was like, eh. That's too hard for me. Same as when I was exhibiting my master's project in Dubai and someone talked to me about blockchain and I was like, oh, that's super hard. And then I ended up working in blockchain because I was very passionate about that. Not anymore. Like literally I'm over the moon, like all these tools are programmed to help us creatives produce our ideas. And that's like perfect. And of course, many people are going to be worrying like, if we let AI do our jobs, then what is going to be happening with your jobs? And I'm like, Evolution, this is just evolution, you know, like you need to let it flow, let it happen. This is what has been happening for thousands, millions, whatever of years, you know, if not, we would still be living in caverns and, you know, that's it. But we kept moving, we kept finding solutions to problems or not even problems, sometimes just needs of stuff. Like we were always trying to make our lives easier. Does it make sense? Well, I don't know, but I kind of like it, you know, maybe because I'm lazy. And I don't know, I just want to embrace it, you know, like evolution is taking that is taking out that way, then fine, you know. We are going to be finding our way anyway. You know, it's like the same as our great great grandparents when the industrial revolution started and they were like, oh, I'm going to be replaced by a machine, you know, automation is here, oh panic, you know. Of course they were in panic, you know, same as a lot of people is a bit scared of AI and robots and all of that, you know, because we humans are going to be replaceable soon. And that's, yeah, that's something that you need to actually digest. And when you digest it, you are like that. I can be part of that change. I can just be there and keep evolution going. We've been telling people to get into computer science because 
it's going to be the profession of the future, you know? And now I'm telling you that, well, if you know how to write in English or whatever language they actually translate this, you don't even need to learn how to code because you can just think, have this logic, say it in plain English, and then Codex will do it for you. AI is going to be doing it for you. And you're like, are you kidding me? Like all these years studying computer science and now you're just telling me that an AI is going to do it for me? Yes. But it's not that bad, you know, because same as I'm not afraid of Dali replacing designers, because if you want to build the perfect outcome, you need to provide it the right prompt. And that is not easy. Same as for coding, that's not easy at all. Like if you want Codex to return the perfect lines of code, you actually need to know what you want to ask it. Of course, it's just going to be easier than just coding from scratch because from this, there are going to be a lot of things developed. Like now we have libraries to actually reduce the amount of lines of code. Like for example, in my case, since I'm into creative coding, I use P5GN a lot. So I think like the same thing might be happening now with AI for coding. Like maybe they're already like developing libraries for creative coding, you know, and something like that. I don't know, who knows? That might be like super secret or I just need to Google, but I didn't Google it. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like it's so exciting because we're going to be able to build literally anything just by organizing our ideas. Anyway, I know this is like super scary. So let's actually ask GP3 if AI is going to be replacing devs anytime soon. <laughs> will Codex replace programmers? No, Codex will not replace programmers. Why not? Codex is not a programming language. It is a set of rules or conventions for how code should be written. While Codex can help programmers to write better code, it cannot replace them. As you can see, the AI told me not to worry, so since AIs are smart, I'm not going to be worrying. Or maybe I should start worrying more. <laughs> okay, let's do some tests. Since I'm a designer, I'm going to be focusing on creative coding. Prompt number one, a red circle on the middle of the screen that increases size when hovering. And we have it here. It's working pretty fine. But to be honest, the amount of code that it needs is quite large. If we compare it with how we could just make this in a few lines with P5.js, which is a JavaScript library focused on creative coding. Okay, let me actually do it in P5.js. See, this is the power of library because in just a couple of lines, I got it and I even, you know, just tell it what background I wanted because why not? I still have time, you know. Okay, from number two. I want a generative background made of stars. And here we have our star canvas. I love it. It works very fine, but this is something that I already did with P5 GS time ago. Let me show you. Same result, way less code. I mean, it's a library, we love libraries because of this. So it's fine. It's not like I'm making them compete because P5.js is a library that is focused on making creative coding and Codex is just like this huge AI system to code anything you want. So it's not, you know, you cannot really compare them. As you can see, for me to be able to make these two prompts, even they are super simple, it's actually something that I know how to do because I know how to code it and I've coded it before. And I know that if I use mouse X, I'm going to be able to increase or decrease the size of an object. Same as for the stars background, I know I can create an object and just play with it. And this is what happened here. Like if I don't know how to go at all, it's not going to be possible for me to just make this. I actually need to know a bit of that. In my case, it's perfect because I only know a little bit. <laughs> so same as a senior dev, it's not going to be knowing everything about whatever library he is or she is using, you know, because it's not needed. This is why you have the documentation just to Google it and go back and be like, okay, copy paste. This is how it's done. You know, you don't really need to know everything. Like why would you need to know everything? Our brains, yeah, they do have a lot of storage, you know, but since we have computers, phones and everything, like we are getting so much information from the world with social media or whatever, you know, like it's normal that we cannot store so much information from our professional life. I don't know. Does it make sense? Maybe. So yeah, this is the reason why I think that no, AI is not going to be replacing devs anytime soon because it's just going to be a tool for them to stop wasting time on tasks that are like too repetitive or, you know, like too simple. That those tasks that they are going to be just Googling because they're like, 
can't be bothered to just do this, you know, I can just copy paste from Stack Overflow and it's going to be working. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's actually, that's actually an art because when I try to do that, nothing works. Like I try to copy paste from Stack Overflow and it just doesn't work. I still get a letter on line 10, 11, 12, or not lines, you know? Anyway, in my opinion, both DALI, both codecs are just going to be tools to automate our design process or coding process, you know? It's just a tool to automate our jobs in a way that we professionals are the only ones that are able to do that. Like, if you don't know how to code, or if you have no idea about art or compositions or whatever, you're not going to be able to do anything with these tools. You actually need to know. I'm going to give it a try and I have like some ideas in mind for another video. So if you're interested about this topic, remember to like and subscribe so you are notified. And also like, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Let me know if you think that AI is just going to take over the wall and we are not going to be needed anymore and we are going to be slaved by a machine or do you think that this is actually part of evolution and something that we should be embracing and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video if so remember to give it a like to subscribe if you haven't already so you are notified and if you want to learn more about how ai is not going to be replacing creative jobs anytime soon i made a video about this and if you want to see how ai could actually be used in your daily life you know, as your studio inter, as your junior designer, I made a video about this too. And see you soon. Bye.